So let's talk about, well, what is self-work? <laughs> it just feels really bad. Why do we go through all the pain? What, what's the point? <laughs> Why are you... What's this? What is this weird hippie language? What is being woke? <laughs> so no, there's yeah. been backlash about woke. Uh, that it's, but it's not about being woke, it's about being awake. Because like, I think the difference is, is between woke or, and awake or woke and conscious is woke is I know what I should be doing. Awake or conscious is I'm actually doing it. Uh, so self-work, I'm just going to quote Socrates, which makes me sound really intelligent, doesn't it all. But Socrates said that the unexamined life is not worth living. So, I mean, he said that quite a while back. And I feel like self-examination, obviously we had Freud, we had Jung, we've had loads of psychotherapists and psychologists between then and now. But I think that it being part of the mainstream has only actually really happened since sort of like the 90s. Um, and since we, you know, we have people like Oprah, these are huge, huge global players. And so I truly believe that the sort of generation, tail end of generation X, it, our gift to humanity, as every generation has a gift, our gift to humanity has been this uh, deep desire for self-exploration. Uh, and actually, I think it's quite interesting because if you actually look at the baby boomers, so you know the parents of the Gen Xers, they were quite mocking about things like counselling and all oh, stiff up a lip, you don't want, oh no, don't tell a stranger that or anything like that. Actually, I think that there was a and almost a lack of resilience that came into Gen Xs, which we're also seeing in the millennials and the Gen Zers, Gen Zers, I don't know how to say that, the Gen Zs, where that lack of resilience, the baby boomers would have seen as a massive failing. And actually we're now realizing that this is vulnerability. And when we have people like Brené Brown talking about the power of vulnerability and how important vulnerability is for connection, to reduce shame, to be able to, to move forward in our lives, then we see that this is actually really, really important. So what is an examined life? What, what is self-work? Ultimately, and this is gonna sound really hippie and I, I struggle to find anything more concrete, it's about being free. It's about being fully autonomous. It's about knowing yourself so well that you can't be swayed, that you won't people please, that you won't do things unless it's something that you genuinely want to do. You are no longer a product of your conditioning from your past. Because if you think about it, when we're children, we're told how to be good based on what good looks like for someone else. So our parents or our teachers, we're never taught to do what's right and what's good for us. We're taught to do what's convenient for someone else. That plays beautifully when we then have to go into employment, when we then have to be good uh, members of the population and do what we're told. I'm not saying we have to be revolutionary. I'm saying we learn to really think for ourselves. Well, you know, I do, but, but we don't have to be revolutionary. We just have to learn to think for ourselves. Again, Monty Python. <laughs> we, must <laughs> we must think for ourselves. They're very wise. <laughs> They're so ahead of their time. 